Hi guys, today I want to show you how to synchronize your uh, data from Business Central to Dynamic CE or uh, Dataverse, Microsoft Dataverse through all data. Okay, we have two steps. The first one, we just create the web API or all data in Business Central. The second step is create data flow uh, in uh, in the Power Apps uh, Studio, and we uh, we have three sub steps. Uh, firstly, we set up the URL and the credentials. The second, set up mating. Then finally, uh, set up the syn uh, synchronized strategy. Uh, it's, that is manually or automatically. Okay, let's get started. So firstly, let's go to the Business Central and uh, we just uh, search uh, web service. Then in web service, we just create a new. So uh, we just choose the object type to page. So I have another, uh, I will put um, the link for you uh, for for the uh, um, for for a page or just to share how, what's the difference between the, the the different object types like the uh, code unit page query. You can just check this uh, description of this video to uh, for that URL. Okay, the page we just choose page here and the object ID, we just choose the uh, entity ID. Uh, so for example, if we synchronize the uh, sales order, so we can choose the, okay, sales order, it's 48, then object na name, it's uh, populated automatically. And then we just set up the service name. For example, we just keep, maybe we can keep the same name, um, orders. Then we just check uh, the published, then just uh, move away our cursor so you can see uh, the URL for all data and the SOAP uh, has ha have been uh, created automatically. Then we just click this URL, uh, this for the uh, all data URL, then just uh, copy the address here. Okay, that's it. And next, we just go to the uh, Power Apps Studio make dot powerapps.com then go to the dataverse then that flow okay uh we we need to create a, a new data flow okay for example we just sync uh order from bc to uh c then create okay we just choose the old data then we just paste the URL, we just copy it. Then we just uh, set up the sign in, the, uh, the, the uh, credential. So it will pop up this one, uh, your account. Then we just uh, click next. Uh, Then we just, we can see, uh, we have seen all the uh, data from the Business Central uh, here. So we can do uh, the, the, uh, uh, the all kinds of uh, tra tra transformation or edit or uh, uh, any, you know, it's power query, right? We can do a lot of uh, uh, the edit or transformation here. So. For now, we, we we don't need any uh, transformation or edit, so we just click next. Then here we we need to set up uh, the load settings. Okay, uh, so there's three uh, several options we need to load to new table or existing table. So this is uh, the the target environment is Dynamic CE. There is no other entity here, so we just. Uh, uh, I well, would load to new table, but if you have um, an uh, entity has been existing, so you can choose load to the existing table, for example, whatever, and any uh, entity is fine, just for example. So if you choose your entity here, so firstly, you need to choose your, your key field, like key column, then just uh, set up the, uh, the source column, um, set up the, mopping, the mapping, Right, 
and can choose the different uh, the columns. The, this is source column, this is des destination column, just to set up the mapping, then click next. So for now, I just use the new table, but I don't, uh, I would not uh, synchronize all columns. For example, if I choose the, uh, the number here, uh, use the, uh, the number, like the number, okay. Then um, I just synchronize, uh, for example, okay, that's it. I think it should be fine. And then click next. Okay, for the, uh, the next is for the refresh strategy. So we, we have two options, uh, manually or automatically. If you, uh, you refresh manually, then you will go to that, the data flow. Uh, click the refresh. So later I will show you. Uh, the other option is uh, automatically. So you can um, choose the uh, the period or yeah, the choose period for for the uh, synchronization. You can refresh on, on specific uh, dates or times or uh, just periodically, uh, right? Every, you can see every, every uh, how many minutes or what um, hours, days or month, right? Okay. Then I just I prefer refresh manually and uh, publish. So after publish, uh, okay, you can see that the status is uh, in progress, the publish in progress. So after it is published, so if I want refresh, that means if I want to start the synchronization, so I can just click, click, uh, click the three points here, click the refresh, so it will start the uh, uh, the, the uh, synchronization manually. Uh, after synchronized, it will be uh, show here. Yeah, it has been finished. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, very simple. Um, just for reference. If any questions, just let me know. Thank you.